kids. Welcome once again to this program of the series Discovering Treasures. We have learned already about many treasures in the Bible, and in the last program we learned of the marvelous treasure of talking to God. We have many surprises for you today. But first, I'd like for you to sing with me the song titled Talking with God. to talk to the Lord Tell Him my worries and open my heart I ask Him to guide me wherever I go And then I thank Him for He gives joy With a little prayer I talk to the Lord Give Him my life, I give Him my all Please guide my footsteps, I sing to the Lord It is through prayer that I call On days that I'm sad, I tell Him in prayer Forgive all my sins, I bring you my cares Jesus, please help all those around me You listen in prayer when I talk to Thee With a little prayer, I talk to the Lord Give Him my life, I give Him my all Guide my footsteps, I sing to the Lord It is through prayer that I call It is through prayer that I call We have arrived to the grand moment where we discover what the treasure for today in the Bible is. We already discovered the treasure of the Bible, the treasure of talking to God, the treasure of the plan of salvation. What's the one for today? Pay close attention. Hi, friends. Today we are discovering a new treasure. But I'm not sure if you're going to like this treasure very much, or maybe we will. Sometimes we visit some places such as a school or a hospital where there are some rules that we need to follow. For example, in hospitals, you need to speak very softly because there are patients who are sick and may be sleeping and the noises disturb them, so we're asked to stay quiet. At schools, we need to follow class schedules and we can't just run outside to play whenever we feel like it. Wherever we are, there are always rules to follow. Each one of these rules is for our own good or for the good of the people around us. Do you like rules? Maybe you do. Do you also obey the rules at home, at school, or on the street? Even if we don't like them all, we should obey these rules because they have helped us to live in harmony in different places and with different people. You know, God has also set rules for our lives, and these rules are found in the Bible. Each one of these rules actually teaches us wonderful things and helps us to be better people. These rules are called commandments, and there are 10 of them. They are written in the Bible, and yes, these are a treasure because God wants us to live in harmony with Him and with each other. Let's analyze each of the commandments. The first one is written in Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. It says, You shall have no other gods before me. Do you know what this means? It tells us that we are to have only one God. Do you know how we can have other gods? We can have another God when something is more important to us than God. For example, video games or friends or sports, anything really, especially when you put the things of God aside so that you can do those things. There are many gods that are not the God of heaven. There can be soccer, cell phones, movies, food, other gods. These are just some examples. But you can make as many things as you can imagine in God. But God wants to be the only God in our life. He wants us to love Him with all our heart. 
The second commandment says the following, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me but showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Exodus chapter 20, verse 4 through 6. The second commandment teaches us that the only one we should worship is God, even if we don't see him personally. He wants all of our love, all of our attention, And that is why he asks us not to worship or idolize images of any kind. You know, there are people who build such images because they cannot see God. So they make statues or idols in order to worship him. Many people think that this commandment is not important. He wants us to come to him when we have difficulties and problems. God always hears us and he answers us and is always willing to be by our side. So we don't need to pray to any image for God to hear our prayers and requests. The next commandment is the third one. And the Bible says the following, Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Exodus chapter 20, verse 7. God commands us to use his name with respect. Sometimes we forget this and use his name when we are angry or when we want to promise something. But God does not like this at all. It makes him very sad. For example, people say, I swear by God, or they might say, oh my God, things like that. That's not good. But how do you use God's name? Do you use it at the right time and with respect? God knows everything that we do, and that is why we need to keep his commandment in mind. Okay, now it's time for us to learn the fourth commandment. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. This is found in Exodus chapter 20, verse 8 to 11. The fourth commandment is very special. God wants us to dedicate one day of each week only to him. And that is why the commandment says, remember the Sabbath day. Do you know what the Sabbath is? The Sabbath day is the seventh day of the week. And this day should be a day that is dedicated to God and dedicated to the study of God's word. We can't do whatever we want on this day, but we need to dedicate it to things that are holy. For example, we can go to church, we can study the Bible, we can pray, we can observe God's nature. That's why the Sabbath day is such a special day because it is a day that is dedicated to God. You know what? When you dedicate the Sabbath to God, you learn a lot about Him, about God and His Word. The fifth commandment is a commandment with a promise. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Exodus chapter 20 verse 12. The fifth commandment, is the commandment that can be the most difficult one for many of you children. God wants us to obey and he wants us to respect our parents. Our parents want the very best for us and because they were also once children, 
they understand us. But we need to be respectful to them and kind to them. If we obey our parents and speak to them with respect, we will live a long, long life. The Bible tells us this and saying that if we want to live long, we must be respectful to our parents and not only to them, but also to our grandparents and older people. It is very nice to be obedient. Of course, we don't always like to be told to clean our room, to wash the dishes, to sweep a room, or to make a bed. But if our parents ask us to do something, we should obey them with joy. Thou shalt not kill, Exodus chapter 20, verse 13. This commandment is the sixth commandment, and it teaches us that we are not to hurt or kill anyone. God wants us to do good to everyone. If we wish that someone were dead, that is also considered killing because it is our heart's desire. We also need to be careful to take care of animals and friends around us, everyone, so that they don't lose their life. But what if someone hurts me? Should I return evil for evil? No, God does not like this. The seventh commandment tells us, you shall not commit adultery. Exodus chapter 20 verse 14. This commandment of God is for those who are married. God wants husbands and wives to love each other and to treat each other with respect. Husbands and wives should be faithful to each other and love each other every day, living together in harmony. We're nearing the end of the commandments, so let's move on to the eighth commandment. Thou shall not steal. Exodus chapter 20, verse 15. This commandment commands us to respect the things that belong to others. We are not to steal or keep anything that does not belong to us. If we find something at school, for example, like money or a toy, we need to ask around to see whose it might be, or we need to take it to our teacher so that they can find the right owner. If we see someone taking something that is not theirs, we need to tell them that God does not like it when we keep things that don't belong to us. But how good God is. He gave us the commandments so that we can learn to give a person's belongings to the rightful owner. Thou shall not bear false witness against thy neighbor. This is found in Exodus chapter 20 verse 16. And this is the ninth commandment and it speaks about lying. God wants us to tell the truth. We should always say things just as they are without adding things that did not really happen. God sees us and he knows everything that we do. Even if we are alone, God sees us. How easy it is to tell lies to avoid trouble, but telling the truth is always better. When we have not done well in school, we should not be afraid to tell mom or dad. There's a saying that goes, lies have short legs. Do you know what this means? It means that the truth will always be known someday. Now let's see if you can tell me in your own words what the 10th commandment says. Thou shall not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shall not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Exodus chapter 20 verse 17. This commandment tells us that we should not envy anyone. This means that we should not desire to have the things that other people have. For example, you could really want the toy that your friend has or maybe a video game or a meal or a house. Sometimes we think that what others have is better than what we have. And then it becomes something that we also really, really want. We fight for it. We cry. We even work really hard until we have the same thing because we didn't want to be different than others. But you can't always have other people's things. We need to be happy that our friends also have nice things. When you feel bad and you want something that your friend has, ask God, Lord, please give me joy for what I do have. Give me gratitude. And with that, we have finished the commandments or rules that God left us in the Bible. These commandments were given to all of his children. 
to all of those who live on planet Earth. Do you know why? So that we can live a good and a happy life. If we respect these commandments, we will be able to live a happy life. We also need to ask God for wisdom to respect and obey the commandments. The Bible says, If you love me, keep my commandments. John 14 verse 15 If we love God, we must keep his law or the rules that he has left us, which are written in the Bible. You may be thinking, Oh, I can't stop lying. Then ask God, Lord, help me, be my guide, and help me to keep the commandments. Our prayer should always be as the Bible says, With my whole heart have I sought thee. Oh, let me not wander from your commandments. Psalms 119 verse 10 God is the only one who can help us to be faithful to his commandments. Do you want us to ask him for help today? Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, thank you for the commandments, for the rules that you have given us. Please help us to keep your commandments. Please forgive us for the times that we haven't done this and give us strength to be able to keep them and to do what you ask us to do. Please clean our hearts and forgive us all of our sins. In Jesus' name, amen. That's it for today's lesson. I hope that you've learned the treasures that we've discovered in his word. The true commandments of God. See you next time, my friends. Bye. How beautiful it is to know that the Lord has left these rules for our lives. And this is what the song is about. It's titled, The Commandments of God. There are ten commandments, ten commandments from God. We are asked to obey them. This is what we're told by the Lord. Thou shalt have no other gods, to no graven image bow down. Never take his name in vain. Remember on Sabbath to rest. Honor your father and mother. Don't kill, don't commit adultery. Don't steal, don't lie to each other. Don't covet the things you don't have. There are ten commandments, ten commandments from God. We are asked to obey them. This is what we're told by the Lord. Learning the commandments is very important. What do you think if we repeat the song? There are ten commandments, ten commandments from God. We are asked to obey them. This is what we're told by the Lord. Thou shalt have no other gods, to no graven image bow down. Never take his name in vain, remember on Sabbath to rest. Honor your father and mother. Don't kill, don't commit adultery. Don't steal, don't lie to each other. Don't covet the things you don't have. There are ten commandments, ten commandments from God. We are asked to obey them. This is what we're told by the Lord. How important it is to guard the Word of God in our hearts. And this is what we're going to do in this moment. We're going to learn another portion of His Word. Hello children, how are you doing? I'm your friend Guido. Do you remember me? Today I come to teach you another portion of the Word of God. Do you like to obey rules? When I was a child, my parents would say, Guido, Behave. Guido, do this. 
but there were days that I didn't obey. And then my mother got very sad. I didn't listen to her. Now I want to show you a beautiful text that also talks about the rule of God. In the book of John, chapter 14, verse 15, it says, If you love me, keep my commandments. Just like the parents give us rules in our homes that we obey, same way God gives us rules that are very important. If we love God, we will obey all the rules that He gives us. He gives us all these rules so that we can live good and we can be very happy. Repeat after me this Bible text. If you love me, if, if you, you love me, keep my commandments. You will keep my commandments. John 14 verse 15. John 14 15. Once again, repeat after me. If you love me, if you love me, keep my commandments. You will keep my commandments. John 14 verse 15. John 14 15. Very good. Very good. Congratulations, dear kids. Remember to always remember these Bible verses and to keep obeying the law of God because it's a secret to happiness. Until next time. As you already know, it's very important to communicate with our Savior. Prepare your heart, remain in silence for this special moment. Hello kids, how are you doing? I'm happy to be with you one more time in this series of videos. Today, we're going to make prayer requests to God. We're going to pray and ask Him what's in our heart. What can we ask Him? For example, we can ask Him to help us to obey His law, like we learned today's topic. We can ask Him to accompany us day by day, to help us to behave good. What do you think if we pray now to God? Let's pray. Our Father who art in heaven, we thank you for today's day. We want to ask you that you accompany us and that you help us to behave good and so that we can always obey your law. Please be with us and bless us. In Jesus' name, amen. This was everything for today. I await you in tomorrow's day so we can continue to start to talk about this series of videos. Bye. Let's remember one of the songs that we have already learned. What do you think it is? We're going to remember in Jesus on the path. Hand in hand with my Lord Jesus, up to heaven I will go. Walking in my Savior's footsteps, Jesus' face I behold. La la la, la la la, la 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 la. Hand in hand with my Lord Jesus, up to heaven. Jesus Christ gave his life On the cross he paid the price He will give us life eternal For his love I now give thanks La la la, la 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 Hand in hand with my Lord Jesus Up to heaven I will go La la la, la 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 Up to heaven I will go. If you want to hear the song or any of the other ones, you can find it in the distinctive social media, The Bible Well. We have arrived to the end of another program of the series, Discovering Treasures. But before you go, I have homework for you. What do you think? If on a paper, you write what we learned today, the commandments of God. You can find it in the book of Exodus in the Bible in chapter 20. And you can also write the commandments of God as we learned in this song. You can put colors, make it very beautiful. And put it in your room so that you can always see it. We will see each other again in the next program. Don't forget to share this with all your friends.